Hi everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and it's been quite a while since I've last done a yoga video so I thought I'd do one today just to help you unwind after a long ass stressful day. I'm going to go through these poses one after the other but I would highly recommend that you pause after each pose just so that you can stay and enjoy a little bit longer. But before we get started, if you do enjoy watching videos on nutrition, yoga, and learning about having a holistic lifestyle, please remember to subscribe to this channel by hitting that big red button down below. Let's get started. This is Cobbler's Pose, also known as Baddha Konasana. Starting from seated, bring the soles of the feet together. Your feet can be as close to your body or in more of a diamond shape, whatever is more comfortable for you. Lengthen from your tailbone to the crown of your head, then stay here or hinge forward at the hips. Feel free to make any or all of the following modifications. If you feel strain in your neck, add a yoga block or a couple to support your head. If there's too much stretching sensation in your thighs, add pillows, blocks, or folded blankets underneath to support your legs on each side. Having a folded blanket to elevate the hips can also feel great easing a bit of the tension away from the back and hips. Allow yourself to stay for at least five breaths or go for a couple of minutes. As an important side note, you can always take variations. Here I am on my back with lots of supportive props. If you get creative with what you have at home already, pillows, couch cushions, and blankets will make fine yoga props. Hit pause on this video until you're ready to continue. From wherever you are, release back to upright and everyone extend both legs forward. Flex your feet so that the toes point towards the ceiling and sit tall in Dandasana. Either stay or again sit tall through your spine then allow your front body to drape over your legs. Bend the knees deeply here to allow all the tension in your hamstrings and lower back to release. If you were propped up on a blanket under your hips with our first pose, go ahead and use the same modification. Your hands can fall anywhere, on your toes, ankles, calves, the floor, and remember, if folding forward is not comfortable, then just sit upright. Everyone is different, it depends on anatomy, the day, and we might even feel tighter on one side than the other. So just do what feels good to you. Melt into this pose for another minute or so, and then we'll do child's pose next, so feel free to pause this video. We'll lift up, then bend at the knees to kneel with the toes untucked. Bring the hips to your heels and lean your chest to your thighs. Arms are relaxed beside the body and if you're feeling like your hips just won't make contact to your heels, roll up a blanket to prop up your hips. Here I have a bolster under my hips and a couple supporting my head. You can experiment with taking knees together or as wide as the mat and see how that affects your comfort. All of these forward folds that we're doing are said to help release stress and tension and also gives you a chance for introspection. Stay as long as you'd like and then join me at the wall when you're ready. Bring one hip to the wall then swing your legs up while your back moves towards the floor so you're creating an L shape with your body. Some people feel more comfortable with a folded blanket under the hips and or adjusting their hips further away from the wall. Also try bending at the knees if there's too much stretch happening in the hamstrings. We're looking for a restorative, relaxing pose here, so feel free to bind your legs with a blanket or straps so that you don't really have to work to keep them up. I also have an eye pillow in this clip and I've wrapped my head to make this pose extra luxurious. Another variation is half legs up the wall where you take bent knees on a chair or like what I've done here, a pile of bolsters. Either remain in legs up the wall pose for your final resting position or we'll transition to Shavasana, corpse pose. Tuck your knees into your chest, feet sliding down the wall and roll off to one side. Gradually make your way to lie on your back. Take the legs wide and allow your arms to fall to your sides. If this bothers your lower back, place the soles of your feet to the ground, bending at the knees and allowing them to fall into each other for support. 
Whichever variation you choose, be sure to stay here for at least 10 minutes. 